The video you are about to watch comes with a lesson plan, audio clips, flashcard games, and a Quizlet and Kahoot. You just have to sign up to FrenchWithMrInnis.com where you will also find new exclusive weekly videos from my new home in Paris. French taught the fun way for kids, the easy way for teachers and parents. Bonjour tout le monde, hello everybody, et bienvenue, welcome to French with Mr. Innes, et bienvenue au Parc des Princes, welcome to Parc des Princes, home to Paris Saint-Germain Football Club. I'm here today as we think about la Coupe du Monde, the World Cup, because the three star players for the three favourite teams all play their club football just here. Neymar for Brazil, Kylian Mbappe for France, and of course, Lionel Messi for Argentina. Today, we'll be thinking about the eight groups in La Coupe du Monde and who the favourites are in each. So stay tuned to find out more. Oui, bonjour tout le monde! Hello everybody et bienvenue! Welcome to this special French with Mr. Innes episode on La Coupe du Monde, where we'll be learning all about the 2022 FIFA World Cup. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel below. We're going to kickstart today's video back out at Le Parc des Princes with our fun French fact of the day! Did you know that France has won la Coupe du Monde, the World Cup, deux fois, twice? First off in 1998, 1998, when the likes of Zinedine Zidane and Thierry Henry lifted the trophy just over there at the Stade de France. They are also the reigning champions, having won in 2018, 2018, when Kylian Mbappe was named the young player of the tournament. Can they win it again? Well, let's head back to the studio to find out more. Merci, Mr. Innes. So now let's go through Group A, A, H, Groups A to H, and learn the French names of this year's tournament favourites with our Ooh la la vocab. Let's kickstart with Group A, and the favourites in this group, the Netherlands. To learn the name of the Netherlands in French, I'd like you to répéter huit fois. Repeat eight times. And notice how the S's at the end of the three words are all in light grey. That means they are silent, so you do not pronounce them. Répéter les Pays-Bas. 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 Les Pays-Bas Pays Pays come into this year's tournament unbeaten in Gaza match. 15 matches, and they headline a very interesting group with African Cup of Nations champions, Le Sénégal, as well as the two teams who will kickstart the tournament, l'Équateur and le Qatar, le Qatar being this year's rather controversial host country. Let's move on to Group B and England. So répétez l'Angleterre. 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 Is coming home. Is coming. Football's coming home. Or is it? Because it has been 56 years since England won a tournament. This year they headline Group B, which is a rather curious group of countries, 
we have l'Iran and two countries where I know a lot of you guys watching are from le Pays de Galles and les États-Unis. So, good luck my friends. Time now to look at Group C and one of the big favourites, Argentina. Répétez, l'Argentine. 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 Well, can Messi, who has won set seven Ballon d'Or here in Paris, cap his incredible career with the one trophy missing from his cabinet? L'Argentine face l'Arabie Saoudite, le Mexique et la Pologne in Group C and could possibly go all the way over to Group D and the reigning champions, the country where I am right now, it is France. Répétez, la France. 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 So can Mbappé return to Parc des Princes as the youngest winner of two World Cups since Pelé? Well, first, La France have to get past l'Australie, la Tunisie and le Danemark, who have actually beaten them twice this year. Moving to the other side of the draw with Group E, we now have Spain. Répétez. L'Espagne. 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 PSG defender Sergio Ramos is already a World Cup winner in 2010, in 2010 with L'Espagne, but having amassed an incredible 180 international caps, his international career looks over. This year, can L'Espagne get past the group of death on their way to glory by facing le Japon, le Costa Rica, and four-time winners, l'Allemagne? Good luck to them. Let's move on to Group F for my home country, Belgium. Répétez, la Belgique. 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 Yes, my home country of La Belgique came troisième, third in the 2018-2018 World Cup. But now they're coming towards the end of their golden generation, despite players like Kevin De Bruyne and Thibaut Courtois being at their peak form. La Belgique is joined in Group F, by a country that a lot of you guys are from, making your tournament debut, it's le Canada. And alongside us two countries, we have le Maroc and the 2018 finalists, la Croatie. Time now for Group G, and probably this year's favourites, Brazil. Répétez, le Brésil. 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 Le Brésil are favourites for this year's Coupe du Monde in Le Qatar because they have an incredible array of attacking talents, not least this guy, Neymar. 
but first off they have to get past a quite tricky group with la Serbie, la Suisse and le Cameroun. And last but not least we have Group H and Portugal. Répétez, le Portugal. 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 <laughs> and that was my cat. Say hello to Shuki. Mm, my new cat. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo has cinq Ballon d'Or, cinq Champions Leagues, and a European Championship. Like Messi, can he add that one trophy that's missing from his cabinet? Well, he's in a rather interesting group with La Corée du Sud, l'Uruguay, and Mrs. Innes's home country of Le Ghana. Boom. Before we move on to which one's missing, a quick reminder that you can find lesson resources to support this video and many other seasonal favourites on my new website. There is also a brand new course of fun, interactive and entertaining videos perfect for weekly French lessons filmed here in my home city of Paris. In the description below, there is a link to frenchwithmrinis.com, so head out there to find out more. But now with our huit new oulala vocab, it's time to play Which One's Missing? Since we've learnt a lot of new oulala vocab today, we are going to have huit, eight rounds of Which One's Missing, and I will help you with each one. So first up, we have Les Pays-Bas, l'Angleterre, l'Argentine, and la France. Which one's missing? Super if you said la France. Next up, we have l'Espagne, la Belgique, le Brésil, and le Portugal. Which one's missing? Super if you said le Brésil. Next up, we have les Pays-Bas, l'Angleterre, l'Espagne, and la Belgique. Which one's missing? Fantastic if you said l'Angleterre. Next up, we have l'Argentine, la France, le Brésil, and le Portugal. Which one's missing? Excellent if you said le Portugal. Next up, we have les Pays-Bas, l'Argentine, l'Espagne, et le Brésil. Which one's missing? Fantastic if you said les Pays-Bas. Next up, we have l'Angleterre, la France, la Belgique, et le Portugal. Which one's missing? Bravo if you said la Belgique. Next up, we have les Pays-Bas, la France, l'Espagne, et le Portugal. Which one's missing? Magnifique if you said l'Espagne. And the last one, we have l'Angleterre, l'Argentine, la Belgique, et le Brésil. Which one's missing? Bravo! Très bien! Fantastique et merveilleux if you said l'Argentine. And now it's time for our phrase of the day. Today's phrase of the day is very important so that you guys can cheer for any country at the World Cup. Our phrase means come on or let's go. So répétez quatre fois. Allez. 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 So with our phrase of the day and our wheat oulala vocab, it's time for 
Sensational sentences. Sensational sentences. Sensational sentences. Sensational sentences. Sensational sentences. For today's sensational sentences, we're going to try and make huit phrases, eight sentences, using aller and one of our oulala vocab. But the sentence you make depends on who you would cheer for in a match between the two teams I'm going to show you. For the first one, would you say allez les Pays-Bas or allez l'Angleterre? What about the next one? Would you say allez l'Argentine or allez le Brésil? What if it was le Portugal against la France? How about l'Espagne against la Belgique? L'Argentine against les Pays-Bas? Le Portugal against le Brésil? L'Espagne against la France? And finally, la Belgique against l'Angleterre. Sensational sentences, guys. Bravo! So now let's head out again to Le Parc des Princes for today's Song of the Day! For today's Song of the Day, we're going to head over to French-speaking West Africa to La Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast. That's because today's song is by Magic System, featuring Shoki, and it's called Magic in the Air. The chorus goes something like this. Feel the magic in the air. Allez, 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 lever les mains en l'air. Allez, allez, allez. So that means feel the magic in the air. Come on, come on, come on. Raise your hands in the air. Come on, come on, come on. It's a fantastic football anthem, and you can find a link to it underneath this video. And now it's time for our... Challenge time! Today I'm going to challenge you guys to complete this sheet and fill in with some sensational sentences who you would cheer for in these Coupe du Monde matches. You can find a copy of this sheet on the frenchwithmrinis.com website. Here you can also access the community tab where you can upload a copy of your challenge response and I'll be able to get back to you. So, bon courage. So, Monsieur Claude Dubois, who do you think is going to win La Coupe du Monde this year? Bah, it is obvious. La France will defend their title. Mm, well, we shall see. What do you guys think? Who is going to win La Coupe du Monde this year? Well, we will find out just before Christmas. And Monsieur Claude Dubois, what should people do if they enjoyed this video? Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel below. So that is everything from today's video. Merci beaucoup. Thank you for being here. Can you say à bientôt? Et au revoir.